There are several different contrast agents used in veterinary medicine. These include barium sulfate, oral organic iodine, which is an ionic solution, organic iodine, which is used as an injectable agent, and also organic iodine, which is used as a non-ionic solution. I chose to use the barium sulfate suspension, which is usually used for routine GI contrast studies. It can only be used rectally or or orally. Um, its advantages include its low cost. It remains in suspension. It does not become diluted with secretions. It's not absorbed through the intestine, so there's no fear of, of absorption. And it has a good density. Since barium, sulfate, and contrast studies in general are not something I typically do at my work, um, my mentor only wanted me to mix the barium suspension with food and let the dog eat it rather than giving the dog an enema or forcing it down his throat. And as you can see, this didn't really seem to be a problem with him. He seemed to actually love the barium mixed with the food. Oral organic iodine ionic solution advantages include rapid transit time, non-irritating to the cercosal surfaces, it's readily absorbed from the peritoneal cavity if there's leakage, and it can be absorbed across the mucosa and excreted, excreted by the urinary tract. The advantages of organic iodine ionic solution injectable is just that it's not thick. The organic iodine non-ionic solutions advantages include fewer side effects, it's not as irritating, and it doesn't become increasingly dilute. And those are the positive contrast media mainly used in veterinary medicine. So for our patient Pablo shown here, um, the barium sulfate liquid would be 30% mixed with the canned food. For cats and dogs, the dosage really depends on what area of the body you want to evaluate. The specific kind of contrast you are using and the concentration of the contrast you're using. To be totally safe, double check with the veterinarian on what she wants you to do, and also make sure you read the manufacturer's directions located on the contrast bottle. 15 minutes post-administration of barium, take the venture dorsal and the right lateral views. There will always be times when you get patients such as Pablo here, who don't want to cooperate and the veterinarian does not want to sedate because he got barium so you just kind of have to work with what you have. As for the end point, the 15 minute radiographs may be eliminated in dogs depending on the study but it's highly recommended in cats because of the GI transit time. An extra rad at 90 minutes may also reveal further info for the cat. So the study is officially finished when the majority of the barium is no longer visible in the stomach. The small bowel study ends when there is little evidence of barium in the small intestine, so it really just depends on what study you do. Finally, the UGI is officially completed when the barium is in the colon. Patient preparation is essential for the full benefit of the contrast study to be obtained. Depending on the study, this should include fasting, enema administration, and or sedation. Make sure the correct amount is given of the contrast and rads are taken at appropriate times.